Well, right now, a dramatic end fiery accident shutting down part of the turnpike today. The driver of an RV losing control and crashing, killing two people. Local 10 News reporter Christian De La Rosa is live in southwest Miami-Dade, where the turnpike has finally reopened. Christian. Nicole, this was a traffic nightmare and horrifying, both for the victims, the people who witnessed this, and those who live on the other side of the barrier while the RV crashed into. Cell phone video shows a disaster, the fierce flames and the dark smoke. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was terrifying to see. It was just past four Tuesday afternoon on the southbound lanes of the Turnpike near Southwest 112th Avenue. Sky 10 over the charred RV. Troopers say a man and a woman were driving and towing this red Jeep when they lost control. The RV veering off the road and colliding into the barrier wall before bursting into flames. Officials telling local 10 news the man was ejected and died on the scene. The woman pulled from the burning vehicle, rushed to the hospital, but did not survive. Authorities shutting down the southbound lanes for hours. Heavy smoke could also be seen crossing into the northbound lanes, also temporarily closed. I was upstairs in my second floor and you the, the house literally went boom. Sheltina Jenkins lives just on the other side of the barrier wall the RV crashed into. Part of it collapsed. I'm telling my mom that had it not been for that wall that they have separating our homes from the turnpike, I mean, God knows who, what other tragedies could have been. Piece by piece, the RV towed away late Tuesday night. and The victim killed on impact, his body finally removed. It was awful. It was awful. And I just feel bad for whomever lost their loved ones. The Florida Highway Patrol has not identified either of the victims. We're live in Southwest Miami-Dade. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.